Hi, my name is Fraser and welcome to Graphics Card Repairs. So today we have this EVGA GeForce RTX 3070 Ti and this card has been reported as not displaying anything. So the customer says that it's just a black screen and nothing else. So the card is on a test bench. Let's boot this thing up and run mods and see what we can come up with. The card is booting now. I'm just waiting for the image. So this image that you see is from the internal display, not from the graphics card. So I'm going to run the command first, uh, LSPCI, just to make sure that our graphics card is detected. And uh, we can see that we are able to see the NVIDIA Corporation device there under the VGA compatible controller. So our graphics card is detected. So I'm going to run mods. And there you go. So we have two failed memories. That's uh, A1, sorry, A0 and B1. So wherever you see the number two, it's zero. And whenever you see a number eight, it's one, channel one. So let's go ahead and dismantle this card. Let's start. Okay, so our card has been dismantled. So our faulty memory is uh, A0 and B1. So that's A0 and B1. These are the two memories that are faulty. So let's go ahead and, uh, you know, start and prepare to get this uh, memory channels removed. And uh, we'll see if we can, uh, you know, reuse the same memory modules or if we have to go ahead and, uh, you know, replace it to new ones. So I'm going to preheat the board now and uh, let's start with the repair.
Okay, as you can see here, we have a, a broken pad and that's on our channel B1. And one of the pad right at the bottom, that's here, you can see that it's completely broken. So we will have to fix this pad first before we can replace the memory. So I'm going to reball the memory. The memory looks fine, absolutely good to me. So I can reball and reuse it. Let me show you the memory here. Okay, this is the memory and everything looks good to me. There are no broken pads. So if we had any broken pads here, we would have to uh, replace it. But this is looking absolutely fine to me. So we can just go ahead and use the same memory. So I'm going to reball this uh, memory. I'm uh, not going to go through the whole process of reballing it. So I'm going to first go ahead and uh, fix uh, this pad. So I'm going to do the reballing off camera. If you want to know how to reball the memory, I'm going to post the link right on the top right corner so you can watch that video. So let's go ahead and uh, fix this broken pad first and uh, we'll continue from there. Okay, so we have our memory replaced and we also have our broken pad uh, fixed. So I'm just going to wait for this board to cool down and then I'm going to measure the resistance. So let's do this now. So it's important that after you reball the memory that you go ahead and uh, check the resistance. It should be around 50 to 70 ohms and currently we have about 71 which is uh, well within the margin. So let's go ahead and uh, put this card on our test bench and run maths again and we'll continue from there. So the card is on our test bench. Let's put this thing up. I'm going to run maths now. So the image that you're going to see is directly from the card and not from the internal display. So I'm just waiting for the card to boot up. We have an image, which is a good sign. So I'm going to run maths. Just waiting. There you go, maths is running. Looks good to me and it's a pass. So let's switch this thing off and assemble the card back again. So uh, once we assemble the card, we are going to boot into Windows and uh, run some stress tests. So let's go ahead and do this.
Okay, so the card has been assembled back again and uh, we are going to go ahead and put this card on our test bench back again and uh, this time we are going to boot into Windows and run some stress tests just to make sure that everything is smooth and the memory installation can, you know, hold up. So let's go ahead and do that. So we are in Windows, so I'm just going to wait for the drivers to load. There you go, the drivers have loaded and uh, let me open up GPU-Z and uh, we are going to start off with Firmark. So there you go, uh, the device is working properly. So that's good. Opening up GPU-Z and we'll also open up Firmark. So apart from Firmark, I'm also going to run uh, Heavens and also 3D Mark. So just to make sure that everything is working fine and is stable as per what uh, you know is expected of this card. So if you have any questions, don't forget to ask in the comment section. I do make sure that I respond to every comment. And uh, if you have anything to ask, it uh, you know just feel free to put that in the comment section and I'll respond back to you. I hope you enjoyed this GPU repair video and found it helpful. If you did, there are a few ways you can support this channel. If you'd like to show your appreciation, please hit that thanks button below the video on the right side. Your support helps keep the channel running and allows me to create more content like this. You can also click the join button to become a channel member. Your membership helps support the channel and I'm currently working on exclusive content which will be available only to the channel members. And of course, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Sharing this video helps others discover the channel and subscribing ensures you won't miss any repair videos. Don't forget to hit that bell icon as well. Your support means a world to me and helps the channel grow. Thanks again and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now. Cheers.